look, when we took over. The Utah Jazz have a new owner, tech billionaire Ryan Smith. We would basically take our media rights of the Utah Jazz and we would send them over to a third party and then they would write us a check. And their job would be to go get distribution and pull money out of Comcast, DirecTV, Dish, and these other local carriers. And it was a great model, except for there was one problem. And you guys know this. I come from the experience world. You know, we have 3.2 million people within this region here in Utah, and we were showing our games to about 1.2 million. That's not a great experience. And so we actually decided to go pretty much independent where we would produce our own games, worked out a deal with our local provider that's over air. So if you have bunny ears and you can turn on a TV, it is available to you. We have the ability every night to reach 3.2 million people. Everyone in the state can watch the game for the first time in, you know, maybe 15 years. Then we we're signing a deal to go north into our region, which is Idaho and Wyoming and part of Washington. In this move, we've gone from 1.2 million people to, to almost 5 million people being able to watch this. And we're really, we created SEG Media, which is a media network to be able to, to televise and broadcast. And, and so we're, we're actually a media business. And this is the first year. It's about ready to start in six weeks. Controlling your own destiny, not having to worry about new modes and being able to attack every new thing that's going to come up is well worth maybe even the financial hit. But I think when you focus on experience for the fans, it wins every time long term. And I don't know what the next two or three major breakthroughs for media consumption is with sports. But what I do know is we're not going to have any conflict in jumping on every single one of those.